Hi guys, welcome to Drum Dog, and today I want to talk to you guys about something that is so important to us as drummers and musicians, and the one thing that all of us require, but not all of us put as much focus to as we need to, and that is simply put, technique. And more specifically, why technique is so hard to learn. Because it is, without a doubt, one of the most challenging and time-consuming parts of our practice is to either learn new techniques or develop our existing techniques to be more efficient. I think we all know it can be a real nightmare and can present a serious tough challenge in our practice time. Now technique is probably one of the things that I spend more time with my students than other things and sometimes that's because they haven't always recognised themselves what makes good and bad technique or they haven't realised that they've developed bad habits or haven't actually thought to put that much attention to their technique at all but instead focus on the notes that they're playing and the sounds that they're making not what they're doing to achieve that. Now that's fine in itself, but at some point every drummer is going to have to turn their attention to their technique and how it's either helping them or holding them back and that can make a really big difference just there. Because it is such an integral part of our drumming, you know, we say we express ourselves through the sticks to the drums, but before that we have to express our ideas to the sticks, we've got to get those sticks to play what we want them to and our one device of communication between our hands and the sticks is our technique. It is a vital lifeline of every drummer. So why is technique so hard to change or learn? It's, it's one simple fact really and it's just the fact that it's something that's physical, not something that's mental. Someone can understand how a technique functions perfectly, they could teach you how to play a technique if they understood the mechanics of it, but to actually do it themselves is not just understanding it that we need to achieve, it's actually teaching our muscles how it feels and how to execute it, which muscles to move in which direction at the right time, and we have so many muscles in our hands that's actually a massively complicated ask. Now that fact there is super important to this discussion, just the fact that understanding a technique fully, understanding everything about it, how every muscle moves and how it functions and how much tension we need where and how much tension we don't want in other places, just understanding it does not mean that we can play it. You can understand everything about it, that does not mean you can play it. The only way we can develop technique is through repetition, repetition, repetition of the same thing played in that same hand until your muscle memory learns how that goes. And now it takes hours to develop muscle memory of any technique. But that is the point that we need to get every technique up to to be able to play it. So what is it that we need to do to get these techniques into our muscle memory? Well, as I've just said, it's to play them on end for hours and hours and hours. But how are we going to play them on end for hours and hours and hours if we don't even know how to do them? Now this is where our focus practice time comes in massively helpful. But there's one pitfall that a lot of people fall down when they are practicing their technique. That they work on their technique alongside new beats and fills that they are not absolutely comfortable with. And what happens there is at the beginning of that practice time, you focus on that technique. You get it absolutely perfect and you think, great, okay, that's how it goes. Now I'm going to play this beat with it. And as soon, that split second, as soon as you've turned your attention away from that technique to what you're playing instead, without question, your hand is just going to go back to what it's most comfortable with. And then before you know it, you've been practicing for half an hour thinking, wow, I'm really getting the hang of this technique. And then you look at your hand at the end of the practice session and think, hang on, that's not playing the technique I asked it to. That's gone back to what it was doing. Okay, we well, just pretend I haven't seen that and I'm going to walk away and then I'll do the same thing tomorrow and hope for a different result. Well, that's not going to work. It's not going to work. What is going to work is when you're practicing technique, practice only technique. 
Now this means playing stuff that's super, super simple. So, I'm almost bordering on boring. This is why practicing technique is so hard because we need to practice things that are so simple that we do not have to think about them at all. Now I'm talking single strokes. I'm talking just boots and cats beats. I'm talking as simple as we can get away with practicing that technique. And even if it's a technique that needs something a bit more complicated, say maybe slide technique on your right foot for fast double strokes, let's just play something super simple with it. Like maybe just a one, a two, a three, a four over the top of single strokes. Let's not put it in a fancy groove where we're going like doom da ka doom da doom da da ka because we're gonna be thinking about the beat. And again, that same thing's gonna happen. We have to use all of our attention on focusing on that technique and getting your muscles to do exactly what you require of them. Otherwise, if you're not telling them what you need, they're gonna be sorting what they think's gonna be best. And it's quite often not what we're aiming for. Now, don't be deceived that just because we're practicing simple things when we're working on this technique, that it's gonna be easy practice. It's not gonna be easy practice. It's gonna be seriously intense practice and seriously frustrating practice of you forcing your hands and legs to do exactly what they don't wanna do, but what you tell them they should. And it's like a fight between your brain and your body trying to get the two to work in harmony in the exact way that you've got in your mind. Now, the easiest way that you're gonna work through this frustration is to work on these things as little and often as you can. If you're trying to learn a new technique and you sit down, twice over a week and practice for two hours, you're gonna find that so frustrating and super hard. But instead of that, if you practiced it for five or 10 minutes, but every day, maybe even say twice a day for five minutes, you're gonna find that you get the hang of that technique so much quicker than if you were just slogging away for hours, sort of a few times. Because your, your muscle memory between that one practice session and the next practice session is just kind of slipping away and then by the time you get to the next session, it's just gone back to what you knew before and you're nearly at square one. So well, there you go. Through that, we've almost formulated a handy little recipe to teach yourself new techniques. Now we're talking practice simple, practice little, practice often, and practice with focus. If you can manage those four things, I promise you, you're gonna get any technique dialed in a lot quicker than you think. Even if you don't remember all four of those points, the one massive key thing I want anyone to take away from this video is that when you sit down to practice, ask yourself, am I practicing technique or am I practicing playing and the notes that are coming out? Because those two things need completely different approaches. How you approach your technique practice time can make a big difference as to whether it becomes something that you love and becomes your friend, or becomes a real enemy and a real barrier between you achieving the things that you want to be able to play. But with those four simple tricks, I think you guys are gonna have no issues at all. If there's any more specific techniques that you guys wanna check out, I really recommend that you go and check out my technique workshop lesson pack, where I go into detail on all things stick grip, rebound, doubles, molar strokes. You can find that lesson pack on our website, drum.dog. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments section which techniques you guys are working on at the moment and if you've got any barriers that are holding you back. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you for the next one.